Here again with another Loose Fur Season 2 episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important. If you are caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching Loose Fur, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which, of course, I'll mention, as well as put in the description. If that happens to be the case, you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. And, of course, this is a first-time watch for me. This will be Loose for Season 2, Episode 10. The title of this episode is called Quid Pro Ho. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing watch the episode about three hours ago. Amenadale tells Mum she can't kill Chloe. He says Lucifer wouldn't rest until he finds out who had killed Chloe. And then Lucifer ends up going to see Dr. Linda Martin. She knows he had a date with Chloe. He tells her Chloe should have enjoyed the food without any distractions. And then Lucifer goes to Chloe's and tells her he owes her an explanation. Penelope, or Penny, is at Chloe's place. That, of course, is Penny's. That, of course, is Chloe's mom. We saw at least in one previous episode, I think in season one. And today is the first day of the trial for Chloe's dad's killer. Dan is quite chirpy for a Monday morning. Ella Lopez asks if he got laid. And someone sent Dan a package. Well, at least he opened it. I think it was sent to him, or maybe it was just sent to the precinct or, or you know, the place in general. But it's Boris's head. Chloe's going to lose it. Of course, Boris was the key witness uh, for the person that was behind the death of Chloe's uh, father, uh, Mr. Neil Smith. Mum slash Charlotte is going to, or is up to something as she's representing the defendant. Well, she is a lawyer. Mum tells Lucifer he sacrificed more for Chloe than anyone else. He killed his brother because of that. She tells him she was going to blow Chloe up, but Amenadil talked him or her out of it. And then Ella says the killer was sending a message. Loose lips, get their head clipped. The cut was extremely precise for Boris. Now, Lucifer is going to be a witness and swears to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me, Dad. He was there with Detective Espinoza. That is correct. But I call him Detective Douche. Lucifer just had to tell everybody at the court, the jury, that... And you want the whole story? The devil's in the details. So Lucifer goes over this every single detail. It's like a theater thing and everybody applauds afterwards. And then Ella knows that Dan, not of the court thing, slept with Charlotte. At the meat place, a big Asian guy with a scar on his neck wanted to use the place after hours. And he threatened to hurt the person if they didn't, I believe. And Mays notices a Menadil looking at Chloe's car. And Mays tells him, she doesn't ever, don't ever lie to me again. And then she blows up a Menadil's car. Mum calls Lucifer back to the stand, who was the first off, asks him who was the first officer to the scene. And Lucifer says, Detective Decker. And then Lucifer says, what he has said was the truth, and he never lies. Chloe thinks Lucifer told Charlotte that she was the first one on the scene, and he says he didn't. Amenadil goes to see Dr. Linda Martin, carrying his uh, steering wheel. She tells him to apologize his ass off to Mays. Mays talks to Lucifer at Lux. Detective Douche shows up, and then Dan tells Lucifer that he leaked the information to Charlotte about Chloe being the first person on the scene of the crime for the guy that they originally thought had killed her father, John Decker. Lucifer gets mad because he, Dan the douche, slept with his mom and spears him through a Chinese, I can't remember what it was, a Chinese place. And uh, there's a bunch of fighters in there, and then there's this head lady and Lucifer speaking Chinese, and nobody knew he knew how to do that. And 
she says that they need to defeat King. So Douche thinks that he's going to be the one, but no. Lucifer would love to see Crouching Tiger hit in Douche, but he's talking about Maze. And she does defeat the large warrior. She was actually going to decapitate him, but Lucifer stopped her. And they get the information of who killed Boris, and at least who they think did. And then Penelope asks Penny, or I'm sorry, Penelope asks Charlotte if you're a mother. She says, yeah, shame on you. They find Boris's body and another body, and they're, of course, both dead. Well, Boris's body is headless, of course. Charlotte says to Chloe, betray Lucifer, and she'll get her client down for the crime. That's all she really cares about. And uh, Lucifer Morningstar is many things, Chloe says, but not a liar. Chloe says that Lucifer is the best partner she's ever had. And then Perry Smith is not guilty. Penelope is upset. What happened is he came out of the courtroom and said, I, I believe in the judicial judicial system and I want to get back to my family. And then kind of gave like a glare at, at uh, Chloe. Quick one as he walked away. And Chloe's just distraught over this. And of course, Penelope, Penny, her mom is upset. And Amenadil tells her he is looking for Maze. And she sees that he has uh, flowers with him and knows that they had an argument. And she tells him that Maze is a lucky girl. And then something triggered Amenadil here, and I don't know what precisely it is. There's things that I miss in this show that I'm kind of confused on how I miss them. But something gave Amenadil a big revelation there. And of course we know what that is. We see that Perry Smith is stumbling, to a degree, out of a, cl uh, a club, uh, wherever it was. And De Detective Douche confronts Perry Smith. And then we have the Russian adult, the Russians adult nap Perry Smith. And Douche and Maze set that plan into, yeah, into action. I don't know if they kill Perry Smith. Probably, but maybe he does show up again. But he's uh, he's going to get a beating, especially since they he killed one of their own. Amenadil, in a very important scene, says 35 years ago to Mum... Uh, father asked him to bless a couple that was unable to um, unable to have children. And, uh, well, they end up having a child, I think, and that's Chloe. Now, is Chloe not theirs and it's from somebody else just sent down there? Or somehow, some way, Amenadil blessing them caused them to have a child? I think it's that reason. But some of that stuff I'm a little confused on. But Lucifer tells Chloe he owes her dinner. And Chloe, of course, is special. And now we know Amenadil was just a pawn in a big game. Chloe's how Amenadil will get his wings back, Mum says. And Chloe says it's the truth to Lucifer about what she said about him in the courtroom. So Lucifer and Chloe are getting closer and closer as we hear this song in the air tonight by Phil Collins, which I'm not a, I just know the song because I looked it up and uh, it cuts away before we see them kiss. I'm sure they don't kiss and something randomly happens, but that's the end of the episode. So a really good episode with some big reveals in it. Although I'm a little just a Menadil blessing the family, uh, John Decker and Penny Decker were able to have Chloe. I think that's what happened, but I'm not 100% sure. But I really like the episode. It's one of the episodes that I had, like a lot of times I'll walk away for three or four times during the episode at least and pause it near three or four times. And it takes me, you know, an hour and 45 minutes to watch a, you know, 45 minute long episode. Well, I was really in tune to this one. I'm going to score it a 9.4 out of 10. This was good. This may have been one of the best episodes, if not the best episode. Character of the episode. Well, I mean, everybody, for the most part, was the character of the episode. Maybe not Dr. Linda Martin. She was very brief in the episode. But Lucifer, obviously. Detective Douche. Amenadil. Chloe. Charlotte slash Mum. Maze. Ella Lopez, just for her brief stuff in the episode. And even Penelope. Everybody did good in this this episode. It was solid all around. It even Linda Martin, who didn't do a lot, but she 
she was awesome in the time that she got. So yeah, I'm going to give the whole cast the character of the episode uh, just because they were phenomenal. And uh, obviously we have a big reveal and Chloe obviously has special powers that make Lucifer not Lucifer to a degree around her. So I'm interested to see where things will go. So you've heard me ramble enough now. Now it's your turn. If you're a fan of Lucifer, which I hope you are, uh, and want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, even though sometimes I don't 100% get what happens in the episode, make sure you Hulk smash that like button. Share the video with a friend. Put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode. What would you score the episode? And if you have to choose a male and female character of the episode, you can do that. But this one is a difficult one to choose. And then last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. Subscribe to the channel. You're watching the video anyway. Join the team. Show your damn support and be a part of something special. And JDev will return as soon as I find out what you desire.